All right, thank you, Brian, and welcome everyone to this August 22nd, 2022 meeting of the Homewood City Council. Um, we don't have any announcements or proclamations tonight, so I'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. Uh, and we're going to start with an invocation from Andy Gwaltney, uh, and then uh, afterwards we're going to be led in the Pledge of Allegiance by Camden Smith from Troop 79, which is the All Saints Troop. Uh, he's here for his citizenship in the community merit badge uh so uh camden if you want to come on up uh <laughs> come on up and and you can st you stand up at the podium near the podium and then uh that way you'll be ready once we finish the invocation every if everyone will please stand if you would bow your heads dear god thank you for your amazing power and work in our lives Thank you for the goodness that you bring and the blessings that you bestow upon us. Be with us evening as we prepare to spend time serving those in this room, in this community, and throughout our neighborhoods. Thank you that we can bring that you can bring hope even in the toughest of times, strengthening us for your purposes. Thank you for your great love and care. Lord, thank you for your mercy and grace and that you are always with us and that you will never leave us. Thank you for your incredible sacrifice that you have given to us so that we might have the freedom and life. Lord, be with us this evening. Help us make good and wise decisions. Renew our spirits and fill us with peace and joy. We love you. We need you this day and every day. We give you praise and thanks. Be with us as we walk the path in which you lead us. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Mr. Qualney. Camden, you're up. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, our God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you, Camden. We appreciate it. Right, Ms. Salter, if you'll please call roll. Councilor <laughs> Gwaltney? Um, here. Councilor Gears? Here. Councilor Alamont? Just here. Councilor Wilkerson? Here. Councilor Sims? Here. Councilor Jones? Here. Councilor Smith? Here. Councilor Nelms? Here. Councilor Andres? Here. Councilor Harden? Here. And President White? Here. Everybody's here. Let us know that there's going to be budget night tonight. <laughs> you have a quorum. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, next, we have the uh, reading of the minutes from our meeting of July 8, 2022. Um, Ms. Salter has uh, circulated those earlier this afternoon. Um, Motion to approve those and um, dispense with the reading. Second. All right, we have a motion from Ms. Smith, second from Mr. Gwaltney. All in favor? Aye. Uh, any opposed? And those are approved 11 to 0. All right, next we have board vacancies, and we've got a few of these. Uh, I think we're going to start with the historic preservation at large position, Ms. Smith. Yes, um, we would like to appoint Sydney Simmons to that position. Um, we, again, we had some great candidates interview. Uh, and Ms. Uh, Ms. Simmons had interviewed previously, and we really would like to take advantage of her um, financial wizardry. So, um, Sydney Simmons for the at-large position on the Historic Preservation Commission. Right. Do we have a second? Second. All right. So, a motion from Ms. Smith, second from Mr. Jones. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And that is 11 to 0. Congratulations to Ms. Simmons. Uh, next, we have the Mental Health Authority. Um, that has closed again uh, without uh, an applicant. Uh, so we will reopen that to, uh, let's say, September 26th at 4.30. All right, uh, next we have a couple of beautification board uh, positions. First is an at-large position, uh, and I believe we had one applicant to that. Uh, is that correct, Mr. Sims? Yes, that is correct. Is that Nancy Mason? Yes. Okay. So uh, that being the only applicant, would that be your a motion to appoint her? Yes, I would like to make a motion to appoint Nancy Mason to the beautification board at large position. All right. Do we have a second? Second. All right. Motion from Mr. Sims, second from Ms. Gear. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? 
That is 11 to 0, and congratulations to Ms. Mason. Uh, I'm sorry? I saw what I yeah, Please do. Thank you, Ms. Salter. All right, uh, and then Ward 2, uh, we've still, um, we did not get any applicants for that one, so we will uh, reopen that and also until uh, September 26th at 4.30. All right, uh, we do have, that, that's it for board vacancies. Next, we have an, one addition to the agenda tonight. Uh, this will be added to other new business. It is 1808-22, request, request for an event notification letter for the Just a Call Away 5K run. Um, that'll be added to other new business. There, there are some reasons for the timing of that that we'll go through when we get to the item. With that addition, I would entertain a motion and a second for the approval of the amended agenda. So moved. Second. All right, motion for Mr. Gwaltney, second for Ms. Andrus. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That was approved 11 to zero. We don't have anything on the consent agenda tonight, so we'll go straight to old business. First item, 10.05.22, public hearing set for September 12, 2022 at 6 p.m. to consider annexation into the city of Homewood for 314 Happy Lane, brought to us by Ketchum Properties, Melody Salter and Robert Forget. We will carry this item over for that public hearing on September 12th. Next item, 090722, bid date set for September, 20, September 12th, 2022 at 4 p.m. for Mecca Avenue Sidewalks, brought to us by Kale Smith. Uh, this item is still in finance as well. Uh, but we will carry it over here uh, for uh, that bid date on the 12th. Next item, 10.07.22, bid date for September 12, 2022 at 4, 10 p.m. for Delcris Sidewalks, also brought to us by Kale Smith. Same thing with this one, it's still in finance, but we will carry it over here uh, for that bid date. Next item, 11.07.22, bid date set for September 12, 2022 at 4.20 p.m. for Huntington Stormwater Culvert Replacement, brought to us by Kale Smith. Same thing with this one, it's still in finance, but we will carry it over for that uh, bid opening. We're, doing the, we're gonna carry over a lot of stuff tonight. Uh, 6.08.22, public hearing set for September 12, 2022 at 6 p.m. for consideration to remove zoning restriction PR2C from 1116 Hollywood Manor Drive. The applicant is Joseph A. Miller III of MTTR Engineers, Inc. Uh, in order to permit the construction of a single family house, this comes to us from the Planning Commission with a 7-0 vote in favor of the uh, recommendation. Um, we'll carry that item over as well for the 12th. Next item, 080822, public hearing set for September 12, 2022 at 6 p.m. for consideration for condemnation of the structure at 2562 18th Street South, brought to us by Wyatt Pugh. We will carry that item over for the 12th as well. Next item, 150722, public hearing set for November 14, 2022 at 6 p.m. for consideration of annexation for the Board of Education property into the city of Homewood, brought to us by Robert Brigette and Melody Salter. We will carry that item over until November 14th. All right, uh, 050522, request to set a public hearing for vacation of right away of 16th Street adjacent to 2901 Central Avenue, brought to us by Lee and Chelsea Maniscalco and Wyatt Pugh. This one we are going to set for a public hearing tonight. Uh, Mr. Kendrick, how long for vacation of property, how long do we have to? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I know I sprung that on you. We can. So maybe the first meeting in October, October 10th, or we could do October 24th. I know, and I, I, I should have given you some more. Okay. Then we'll set that public hearing for October 10th, 2022 at 6 p.m. <laughs> All right, next item, 140722, public hearing set for our last meeting at August, on August 8th, 2022 at 6 p.m. for consideration of 
sign variances at 1722 27th Court South, brought to us by Dogtopia and Wyatt Pew. Uh, this item, we closed the public hearing last time, uh, but we did carry it over. Um, do we have, you reported it out last time, do you have any, okay. We reported it out without recommendation sure. pending the public hearing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, before you start, I do want to let the council know uh, a couple of things. Um, one is uh, that uh, I got an email today from Tim Coker who said that the sign is coming down this week. Uh, they are hoping to have the cranes out there tomorrow to start on that. They're doing some other work on the roof. Um, and so uh, certainly if you have anything new, I'm going to let you say it, but, uh, but I don't, I don't want to cut you off. But I would uh, make this suggestion if everyone is comfortable with the sign variance that's been requested is that uh, we could make someone could make the motion to approve it conditionally upon the property being brought into compliance with the rest of the property being brought into compliance with our sign ordinance in other words it would take a, the the variance would actually take effect once the pole sign came down that way you could go ahead and order it because you would know that it would it would be approved. You just couldn't put up the sign until the pole sign came down. Got it. Uh, so, uh, with that, it, I, if you have anything nothing new, nothing new. I mean, I'm happy to refresh everyone's memory, but uh, yeah, nothing I'm happy new. to make that motion to go ahead and approve it conditionally on the with, um, on the removal of the pole sign. Second. All right. Motion from Ms. Smith. Second from Ms. Andrus. Any other questions or comments from council? not all in favor aye. aye any opposed abstain all right so that is 10 to 0 to 1 uh, and will be resolution 22 133 yes sir. and just to make sure that made sense right that made sense okay fantastic yeah, can't go up until the full signs down that's right yeah. thank you very much all right Next item, 080722, request for consideration of Shays Creek Parkway Phase 2, brought to us by Cale Smith. And we'll start with a report from Finance, Mr. Jones. Yes, sir, Mr. President. The uh, Finance Committee met. Uh, we had uh, minutes from the 1st and the 15th. This particular item um, was carried over last time. So from our minutes on the uh, August uh, the 1st meeting, uh, we voted um, after hearing a presentation from GMC, we voted four to zero to recommend accepting the lowest responses uh, bidder, which is Chilton contractor, and uh, have the mayor uh, uh, sign the contract. The uh, the actual amount, just so you're aware, uh, would be uh, coming out of carryover fund balance uh, fund 26-09-499301, going into the uh, Green Springs phase two, uh, line item 26-11-581584. And uh, that would be uh, $566,149.34. All right. Thank you very much. So we have a uh, motion from finance. Any questions or comments? If not, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And that is 11 to 0 and will be resolution 22134. All right. Next item, 050722, request for permission to grant Telepack Networks, DBA, C Spire Fiber, and 18 foot by 18 foot permanent easement uh, brought to us by Cale Smith. And we'll start with another report from Finance, Mr. Jones. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. President. Uh, this was from our meeting on August the 15th. Uh, the committee met and voted uh, 3 to 0 to approve uh, declaring this surplus and sign the easement agreement uh, with C Spire. Um, so 3 to 0 out of finance. All right, uh, so the way this works is that we first have to declare this uh, land surplus so that we'll have an ordinance for that and then we will have a resolution following that. So with regard to the ordinance, uh, Mr. Kendrick, if you'll give us the first reading, please. Yes, sir. there's an ordinance to declare real property a surplus be ordained by the city and a regular meeting of newly assembled quarantine president as follows, that it hereby established and declare that the real property owned by the C is described below and it sets out the legal description for that 18 by 18 section. It's no longer needed for public or municipal purposes and therefore declared surplus. Section two, the mayor and the city clerk are authorized and directed to lease the property to tele Telepac Network Inc. DBA C Spire pursuant to the terms and conditions that certain right of way easement between the parties forward in consideration of the sum of $25,000.
All right, thank you, Mr. Kendrick. Uh, all right, so that is, this is for the park to declare this uh, surplus. surplus. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. Yeah, I'd try to move for unanimous consent. Can, all right, we have, yeah, just a second. Uh, we got a motion from Mr. Jones, a second from Ms. Smith. Uh, Mr. Wolverton, you got a question? Uh, I wasn't here, so excuse me for not knowing, but <clears throat> I just wasn't sure if there was some, I know in the past we've talked about some sort of monetary um, conditions on something like this. Yeah, he, he just read it, uh, 25000 $25, okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Uh, all right, any other questions or comments before we do that vote? Uh, Ms. Salter, if you'll please do a roll call vote. Um, yes, sir. Councilor Gwaltney? Yes, ma'am. Councilor Gear? Yes. Councilor Alamon? Yes. Councilor Wolverton? Yes. Councilor Sims? Yes. Councilor Jones? Yes. Councilor Smith? Yes. Councilor Nelms? Yes. Councilor Andrus? Yes. Councilor Harden? Yes. And President Wyatt? All right, yes. Uh, you, yes. Uh, all right, so that is 11 to 0. And now I would entertain a motion and a second for approval. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Gwaltney, second by Ms. Andrus. Another roll call vote, please, Ms. Salter. Councilor Gwaltney? Yes, ma'am. Councilor Gear? Yes. Councilor Olamon? Yes. Councilor Wolverton? Yes. Councilor Sims? Yes. Councilor Jones? Yes. Councilor Smith? Yes. Councilor Nelms? Yes. Councilor Andrus? Yes. Councilor Harden? Yes. And President Wyatt? Yes. That's 2847. All right, so that is 11 to 0, and then we'll be ordinance 2847. Now we have the uh, resolution to approve. Um, I would entertain a motion and a second for that resolution. Or does that come out of finances? Or yeah, I'd, I'd make, make that motion. Yeah. I think we've got it I, just we because it it, we, since it wasn't surplus, yeah. I'd rather got do it, it. separately. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. oh, ordinarily, yes, that would okay. be fine. So he made the motion, I'll second that. All right, motion by Mr. Jones, second by Ms. Smith. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? And that is 11 to 0 and be resolution 22135. All right, next item 010822, request to consider State Act 2022 229 to allow for a one time bonus for retired Homewood City employees, brought to us by Mayor McCluskey, and another report <coughs> from Finance, Mr. Jones. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. President. The uh, Finance Committee met uh, and voted 3 to 0 to recommend approval of this item. All right, so we have a motion from finance. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. All right, so we have 10 to 1, and that will be resolution 22-136. Next item, 020822, request for consideration to become an official fan guide sponsor for the annual Birmingham Bowl, brought to us by Mark Meadows and Barry Smith. And another report from finance, Mr. Jones. Yes, sir, Mr. President. The uh, committee met and voted three to zero to recommend approval of this item. All right. We have a motion from finance. Any questions or comments? What's the cost, what's cost associated with that? It's, I believe, $1,881. Yeah. It's $1,181. $1,181. Sorry. Yeah, $1,181. I, I yeah, 1188 That's yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. And it's to put our city logo website. Any other questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? That is 11 to 0 will be resolution 22-137. All right, 030822, request to set a bid date for College <coughs> Avenue stormwater improvements, brought to us by Kale Smith, and another report from finance, Mr. Jones. Yes, sir, Mr. President. The uh, committee met voted 3-0 to recommend setting a bid date uh, for September the 12th at 4.30 p.m. Uh, they'll be due at 4, but uh, will be open at 4.30, 3 to 0. All right. So we will set that bid day for September 12, 2022, which is going to be a busy night uh, at 6 p.m. Or no, I'm sorry. What time did you say? 4.30? 4.30. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, next item, 040822, request to amend the fiscal year 21-22 budgets brought to us by Berkeley Squires. Robert Brigette and Melody Salter, and another report from Finance, Mr. Jones. Yes, sir, Mr. President. The uh, committee met voted 3 to 0 to recommend approval of this item. All right, we have a motion from Finance. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? That is also 11 to 0, and will be resolution 22 138. Next item 050822, request to consider revisions to the tree and landscape ordinance brought to us by Kale Smith, and uh, we'll start with a report from. Uh, planning and development, Ms. Andrews. 
Uh, yes, the committee voted four to zero to refer revisions back to the full council without recommendation and carry over in committee as well. The motion was made by Councilor Nelms, seconded by Councilor Wilberton. All right, so we left this item in committee, but we sent out the changes to the amendments to the ordinance to be approved, correct? Correct. All right, Mr. Kendrick, do you have the first reading of the ordinance, of, of the yes, revisions? Okay. So we'll set that public hearing for September 26. Yes, sir. It's an ordinance to amend Article 2 entitled Definitions and to amend section subsection F entitled Exemptions of Article 11 entitled Tree Protection and Landscape of Article of Appendix A entitled Zoning of the Code of Ordinance of the City. Be ordained by the City Council as follows. Section 1. An Article 2 entitled Definition is amended to add the following definition as a definition for article artificial turf. Section two, the sec subsection F entitled exemptions of article 11 entitled tree protection landscape of appendix A is amended to read as follows. It sets out uh, section F exemptions, all trees removed by utility uh, country or state agencies which are located within a public road, drainage right away or permanent utility and drainage easements shall be exempt from the requirements of this article. Section two, building permits issued for maintenance or interior alterations and renovations where the work is less than 50% of the building area, total square footage, all floors, or exterior site improvements less than $5,000 as estimated by the officials and the DEZ shall be uh, exempt from the requirements of this article. Section, subsection three, in lieu of satisfying requirements for landscaping required by this article, the applicant or homeowner may satisfy the provisions this article by paying to the city at the time of the application a sum equal to $750 for any tree over 25% of the required MTD. For example, if the MTD is four, one tree shall be installed. $750 per, uh, may be paid for the remaining three trees if two trees are required. One tree shall be installed and $750 may be paid for the remaining tree. The fund shall be paid to the tree replacement fund which shall be used solely by the city to replant trees in the city. Section four, all of the provisions of the zoning ordinance remain in full force and effect. Section four, September 26, 2020 at six o'clock p.m. is a time and place fixed for the public hearing, at which time all persons may be heard. Section five, any part of provision order declared to be unconstitutional or invalid by a court of competent jurisdiction. All of the parts of provisions remain in full force Section six, the ordinance shall become effective immediately upon its adoption by the city council, approval by the mayor, or is otherwise becoming law. All right, thank you, Mr. Kendrick. So that item will be set for public hearing September 26, 2022 at 6 p.m. All right, which brings us to the end of uh, old business agenda. Um, and uh, to the committee referral agenda. I would entertain a motion and a second for approval of the committee referral agenda. So moved. Second. Motion by Ms. Andrus, second by Ms. Nelms. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, it's approved 11 to zero, which brings us to other new business. First item 1408.22, request to set a public hearing for consideration of a front yard fence variance at 207 Mecca Avenue, brought to us by Debbie uh, Petito. Uh, and Wyatt Pugh. Uh, we will set that public hearing for September 12th at 6 p.m. Uh, next item, 1508.22, request to set a public hearing to consider declaring the property located at 327 East Glenwood Drive, a public nuisance due to a violation of ordinances 1910 and 1750, excessive growth, brought to us by Scott Cook. We will also set that public hearing for September 12th at 6 p.m. Next item, 1608.22, request for consideration of approval of vouchers for the period of August 9, 2022 through August 22, 2022, brought to us by Robert Burgett and Melody Salter. Um, Mr. Jones, is this still Mr. Harden? It is, I yield to Mr. Harden. Okay, I apologize for, for chatting. This is this the vouchers. That's right. Okay. So I, I did have a chance to review the vouchers. Uh, Mr. Burgett, I sent him an email uh, yesterday and he replied today and I'm satisfied with everything. So I'll make a motion to approve the voucher. All right, so we have a motion from Mr. Harden, a second from Ms. Smith. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And that is 11 to zero and will be resolution 22139.
All right, I'm going to take uh, this next item out of order so we can leave the mayor for last. Uh, is 1808-22, request for an event notification letter for just a call away 5K run. Um, this is a run that is going on uh, around Patriot in the Patriot Park area, but not on Patriot Park. Uh, they had originally been planning to use Ash's uh, ABC license and obviously cannot do that now. Um, so uh, they are working to um, get their own special event license from the ABC board uh, because they are a 501c3 um, and uh, the, the police department has confirmed that they do not need to the city doesn't need to do a background check for that license. Uh, so what we do need to do, and we've done this once before, is to issue an event notification letter that we will go ahead and give them and then they can go talk to the ABC board about whatever they need to do uh, to try to get their special event license. So that's what, that's what this item is. Uh, if anyone's got any questions or comments, um, let me know. If not, I would entertain a motion and a second for approval. Move so to approve. Second. All right. Motion by Ms. Andrus. Second by Mr. Alamon. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? That is 11 to 0, and Ms. Salter will get you that letter. All right. Which brings us. Did you, I'm sorry, to, you have, did you write down on Ms. I can go back and listen to who's yep. the second on the vouchers card and was the first? Uh, Ms. Smith. Smith, okay. Thanks. All right. I believe that brings us to all but one item tonight so mr mayor we'll turn the show over to you thank you so much i was joking with brian in the back i feel like there needs to be walk-up music for <laughs> something like the budget maybe some acdc or something cool like that. Yeah. <laughs> well that's exactly yeah right. there you go that was not the one i used it had a highway in it but uh <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's that time again. Um, as you all know, the, the work that goes into a budget is long and argu arduous, and there are so many moving parts, and, but that's the goal, um, is to bring you a sustainable and balanced budget. So I have to say thanks to several people um, for their hard work, uh, or we wouldn't be here tonight. Uh, I want to thank all of my department heads, first of all, for their determination and thoughtfulness in submitting their proposals. Um, those city leaders worked very hard with their respective staffs to ensure that their requests were timely, uh, cost effective, and especially in times like these where cost of goods is through the roof. Um, we went through a dozen or more individual budget meetings within a five day period. Um, so it was a very, very busy week. Um, and uh, I believe that it's important for me to understand each and every request and what those mean to the department and to the city um, before actually putting them in the proposal you'll see tonight. Um, I have to add the finance department, including Robert, Melody, Cami, Melanie, deserve a special thanks for putting in all the proposals, the revisions, and the final budget, which uh, I believe, is that gonna be handed out to them or is it already at their? We, we, no, we have it. Here. You have it, okay, okay, perfect. I just wanna make sure. We have it. I know we've done it both ways before, so. We, we do have it. Okay. But <laughs> so, sure. <laughs> so, but uh, again, thanks to them, their fiscal review of the proposed budget and subsequent recommendations are beyond helpful when coming to the council for the initial presentation. And uh, we certainly have, you guys have a task in front of you over the next month of reviewing it yourselves. And, uh, and of course, JJ, thank you so much for all of your help uh, for scheduling each of those meetings and sitting through those, taking notes and just, uh, being a shoulder to cry on when, uh, when needed. Uh, we believe we have a strong budget to present to you tonight, and there are several items that will be discussed um, during the budget hearings that, uh, that are already scheduled um, that we'll discuss a little bit later. But without further delay, we'll get into the proposed budget. Um, Brian, if you want to go to the next page, the first page, I guess. So you can see some of the highlights. I'm going to try and stand a little bit closer so I can see them. Um, but for fiscal year 22-23, the highlights, payroll is budgeted with merit increases of about $305,000. Uh, this is before taxes and pension. 
There's also an estimated 5% increase uh, for insurance and the LG HIV premiums with the city paying 100% of that cost increase at a yearly cost of just under 200,000. Uh, the mayor's budget does not have money allocated for an annual bonus, but if you looked on the, uh, I believe it's on the committee referral agenda, uh, there is a request in there to be made to council to consider before year end, uh, depending on whether there is a surplus. Uh, the city's pension factor is at 16.39% at a cost of 3.7 million for FY22-23. And my budget does include a 5% COLA at an approximate cost of $1.2 million, that's before taxes workers' compensation, and pension. If you look at the ARPA, the American Rescue Plan Act budget for FY22-23, uh, some of the major uh, projects that we will be doing using, uh, utilizing those funds will be creek wall repairs. That's something that we have come to find out. Uh, again, you'll, you'll see it in any of the areas where you have creek walls. They don't let you know that it's coming, it just happens. And something has to be done with it ASAP, so it's good to have uh, money inside that budget for, for those particular repairs. For a video truck for sewer infrastructure recording, um, that's $200,000. That's something right now that we are farming out um, and we're having to do it on a regular basis because everybody around us is dealing with flooding issues. So that's something that we think will be very, very beneficial for us to be able to go out and monitor because um, with everybody having the issues, it takes a while for those trucks to become available to us so it just makes a lot more sense. And again, we'll get into a lot more details and stuff inside the budget hearings. And then sewer and storm drain uh, is $1.3 million. The general obligation warrant construction fund for uh, fiscal year 22-23, which is fund 26, uh, you can see the Greenway 2 construction there at $1.8 million. You have the I-65 diamond interchange, um, at 2.8, that's again fully funded so that we know that the money is there completely depending on when the project starts, we'll have to pay it uh, in two separate years, but we wanna go ahead and allocate all of those funds so we know that the project is completely paid for um, when the time comes. And then Green Springs revitalization, this is the bid alternative uh, and connector, the estimated price along with, um, oh, I'm sorry, that is $850,000. This is the piece of Green Springs that goes from Broadway down to Lakeshore on the eastern side. And then the, re I'm sorry, Brian, go back one more. And the Reese Street sidewalk, the 330 should be over there under the amounts, but that's all right. <clears throat> so the total budgeted revenues uh, for the general fund, um, you can see there are 61,605,000. Other sources and the reduction of fund balance at 1.5 with the total expenditures being just over 63. Capital projects fund, Total, bu total budgeted revenues, 2.5 million. The other source reduction of fund balance at 2.5 as well, bringing the total expenditures to 5.239. You can see down there at the bottom the note for the revenue source that carry over fund balance. We won't have to use that if all of the capital projects that are still un unfunded for this year because they haven't been done are not completed in this fiscal year and if council decides to delay funding projects that, be that can be carried over. So that number could change. So some of the capital uh, projects highlights, uh, we have a new fire engine in there at $750,000. We have the Sanford Pocket Park at 280,000. And then sidewalk construction and design for three separate projects, one in Delcrest and West Homewood, uh, the Central Avenue, and then uh, Mecca leading up to the middle school. I know you're all familiar with, with all of those. So this is just a budget summary. I won't go through every one of these because um, it's a lot of numbers, um, but you can just take a look and see that the, the, ground, the grand total down at the bottom, except for the Board of Education Fund, which you'll see on, I think it's the next slide, is uh, just, a, just under 98 million. And then last, uh, the Board of Education Fund 06 and the BOE Sales Tax and Fund 1 is a total of about almost $21 million. Um, you can see the sales tax number there. That is what we've referred to as the penny. Um, it is now generating $10.3 million to the schools. So it's fantastic. Um, and uh, we, are, we are very happy to do that for, uh, for the wonderful city schools. And I believe that's it, Brian. Yeah, so the conclusion, we will distribute uh, the budget. Are they going to get it tonight as they leave? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Thanks, Brian.
So they will, you guys will get your books tonight and begin your fun reading um, until the budget, uh, I believe Walter actually sent a email out today to the finance committee setting all of the budget hearings for like two weeks, is it two weeks away? It's not this week, it's next week. That's what I meant, sorry. Yeah, so this week there will be no budget hearing meetings, but they will start next week. Um, and then again, depending on whether or not we have a surplus uh, for this year, we'll determine whether or not we have bonuses um, at the end of the year. We're going to so. pop quiz tomorrow morning. Though. Pop <laughs> quiz, sure. I'm sure you will. I'm all right. <laughs> um, so I know I know this is very high level, and there will certainly be many questions as we go throughout these these budget hearings. But again, thank you to everybody that helped put this together, and thank you guys for um, your future work. Yeah, I, I've done it many a time so I know uh, how painstaking it can be but it's it's probably the most important thing that we do here as a city um, to make sure that that we are balanced in in what we're spending and I just appreciate all the work that you guys do and I look forward to seeing you in a week thank you for all your work on it mr. mayor I appreciate that all right so now we'll, it's a finance day, right? right so like I said, unless you just want to approve it. But <laughs> Don't tempt me. All right. So that, that will go to finance. Uh, Mr. Jones, do you want to tell us about the meetings now, or you want to wait till you're – you can go ahead and tell us now since we're on the subject. Sure, yeah. Um, th these are what I typically do. I've sent this out to the finance committee, um, and we'll – I'll hear back from everyone, but we want to start a little bit earlier. Uh, usually we start after Labor Day, but we're going to start next Tuesday uh, with, with a high level review and revenue uh, general fund and, and then go to Thursday, uh, which is September the 1st. And then um, Tuesday and Thursday of the next week, um, we would be meeting um, and then we're going to be meeting once a week uh, to uh, until and we need to pass it on the 26th meeting so um, we, we just had these meeting interspersed I need to hear from everyone on finance to make sure that these dates look good and the times look good uh, once we finalize that tomorrow then we'll send this out to everyone on the council with you always do calendar invites and everything so um, uh, do we'll you mind publish it. mr. chairman do you mind me interjecting that um, on Tuesday September 6th we're gonna have a planning commission meeting um, uh, in in this room at 530 does that oh, okay. yeah I, I don't know that we'll even need that meeting on the 26th no, no, no I'm talking about the uh, September 6th yeah, yeah. Tuesday September 6th Planning Commission. Planning September six. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have it slated for five to seven. Mm -hmm. Is that? And we Planning can Commission have it will be. A, we can have it somewhere else, or do, what do we have? Planning Commission. Planning yeah, Commission. Have to be, yeah. We'll yeah. Be in it, here. I mean, we're going to be in two separate rooms, but. Yeah, I know. I was just saying we should have a conflict. We can move. Not that. to make it about me, but. Okay. But, I but it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, I but it, but it really <laughs> is. <laughs> Uh, it, well, we, we uh, meet at 6 in here on uh, the first okay. Tuesday of every Maybe month. we can move that up uh, for that night so we can do both. I know you want to attend both meetings. I do. Thank you. Okay. Uh, but the, those are the proposed dates, and then we'll, we'll, get, we'll get it firmed up uh, tomorrow and, and send that out. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, uh, before we go through announcements, remember that uh, even though next week is a fifth Monday, uh, we will be doing committees uh, so that we don't run into a problem on Labor Day. So uh, when you're setting committees, you're setting them for next Monday. So uh, with that, Mr. Gwaltney. Uh, I actually have no comments this evening. All right, thank you very much. Are you setting public safety? Oh yeah, you got it. Okay, you got a nuisance item. Yeah, that's right. I will set public safety for after finance. All right. And that is all. All right. Thank you very much, Ms. Gear. I just, I just want to thank Kel Smith and Nathan Curry from Sane Associates for taking time last week to come out and meet with neighbors on Mecca, and look at the new sidewalk design and explain how some of them have complicated yards and. 
they were real concerned, but uh, they did a great job, and uh, the neighbors really appreciated their time, and so did I, so thanks. Thank you. Mr. Alamon. No comments tonight, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Wolverton. Uh, I believe, let's see, I know Kale had carried something over a couple times, um, so we'll set uh, public works after public safety. <clears throat> and then uh, I just wanted to actually thank the fire department for um, their work last week. Uh, a neighbor around the corner from us, uh, their house burned down last Wednesday, Thursday on Edgenal. Um, fortunately, they got out safely along with their dogs. Um, actually, I believe from what I was told, the fire department told the, the the husband that he might have saved the whole house from just going up entirely uh, because he closed the door when he found smoke and fire and seemed to have contained it but uh, the response time was was incredible and I know that they appreciated um, the outpouring of support from the neighborhood and, and community at large helping to kind of put pieces together and um, getting some of the basic necessities back together and supplying a little funding to help with some of that stuff too so um, I think that that <clears throat> I think that's really it um, other than you know obviously uh, we're sad to see uh, Mark and Ashley um, Driscoll close close the doors uh, at Ash um, and just wanted to make sure that they they know and understand that the community has really appreciated all that they've done and sacrificed and uh, just knowing that there are lots of blood, sweat, and tears that they've put into into the business and um, that they are <clears throat> valued members of the community and we look forward to spending time with them as that. Um, and then also uh, excited about potential uh, growth as a, as a venue for, um, for overflow with, with another business owner in the, in the area that's proven to do very well over time. So. Um, lastly, we've got um, the back to school bash on Saturday, uh, I believe from four to nine officially, uh, before and after probably that time as well. But uh, hopefully it'll be a good time. The, um, the marching band will be out there <clears throat> at the beginning. So come on out and, and enjoy. Hopefully the weather will cooperate. So that's it. Thank you very much, Mr. Sims. Thank you. So first of all, I'd just like to Thanks to the mayor and everyone who worked on the budget. Look forward to taking the hard work y'all put together and reviewing that. Look forward to you know putting in that work. Um, but I'm thankful for everything y'all have done to get it to this point. Uh, and also appreciation for Meg McGlamory for being here this evening, the executive director of the Crisis Center. As we referenced earlier in, a meet, in the meeting, this Saturday is the Just Call Away 5K, which is going to be in the Patriot Park, West Homewood vicinity. Uh, look it up online. It's not too late to register for the race or you know, just show your support for the Crisis Center in any way uh, you so choose to do so. But uh, with a couple of events in West Homewood Saturday, it'd be a uh, good way to start and end your day with both the call, Just a Call Away 5K and the in the school event. Thanks. Thank you. Mr. Jones. Uh, yeah, also thank you, Mayor, because uh, I, I know a lot of work was put in um, so far, and I, but you always provide us a very uh, fair and, um, and clean budget, and we look forward to, to work working on it uh, together. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and uh, thank the Finance Committee for for the time that you're going to spend reviewing everything and the time we're going to spend together up here uh, we're going to act in a civil way we're not always going to agree on everything <laughs> but uh, i feel like we've always act acted very um, in a civil manner so i want to continue that and uh and and one thing i'll just make a quick comment on um, is that I, I don't remember too long ago that a penny in this city was six to seven million mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now we have mm -hmm. for the first time surpassed 10 million so our, i mean really uh we should be very proud that that our our revenue is is that and then also that we're one of the few cities in the state that dedicates money directly to the board 
of education. And we don't say that enough, but, um, and then we have a lot of employees that we appreciate, but we also have to fund. So it's a, it's a balance uh, that, we, that we have. So uh, look forward to that and finance will be at five uh, next week. Thank All right, you. thank you. Ms. Smith. Um, I'll set special issues for uh, after public works. And um, sad uh, news, um, former president uh, Peter Wright, his father passed away um, and the services are going to be in Tuscaloosa on Wednesday. Um, so just wanted to share that news with everybody. And that's it. All right. Ms. Nelms. I don't have anything to say. Thank you. Ms. Anders. All right. Well, I do want to set P&D uh, to follow special issues. Um, I want to, while we're discussing 5Ks, let everybody put October 22nd on their calendar for the First Responders 5K, second annual. I um, want to thank um, Sanford University for hosting the Battle of Lakeshore on Friday night. It was a blast, and oh my gosh, that band, y'all. I mean, it is amazing. <laughs> it was unreal. Um, so that was just really a great event, and it was a perfect night. Um, I also want to thank Commissioner Steve Ammons. Um, he hosted um, several people from Homewood and from Mountain Brook and from his office. Um, just kind of tackle the um, panhandling issue that has kind of raised its head, uh, particularly, in, I know it's been everywhere, but we've had it in Ward 5. Um, JJ was there, Captain Ben Sutton, and then um, Lieutenant Eric Hampton from Homewood PD, um, and then Lieutenant Jason Rhodes and Captain Jay Loggins and Mayor Stuart Welch and City Manager Sam Gaston from Mountain Brook, and then um, Steve and um, Othell Phillips from his office. And um, we really, I think we put together a really great um, multi-pronged effort. Um, we're gonna have a summit that um, Mayor McCluskey is gonna be involved in and bring in folks from the Firehouse Shelter, from Brother Brian, and um, you know, just kind of look at it from every way that we can look at it, but it really is an issue right now. It's sort of, um, you know, front and center throughout the county. And um, I really just um, value our relationships that we have um, in the region because it really is um, something that we need to come, you know, we couldn't do it alone. So um, I want to thank Commissioner Ammons for having that meeting. And that's all that I have. Thank you very much. Mr. Harden. I've got the book War and Peace. I'm going to start on the first <laughs> chapter. Um, just very quickly, I want to thank the mayor and, and uh, Melody and Robert and their staff uh, in advance <laughs> for all the work that's been done and will get done on this budget. It is a lot of work with a lot of moving pieces, as the mayor was saying, and, and uh, we, get, we get to have a lot of fun hanging out together on the finance committee, but uh, I just want to thank them in advance for all the late nights they're going to spend on this. All right. Uh, I'll just echo the thank yous uh, to everybody, and Mayor, JJ, department heads, Robert and Melody. Melody and I were meeting before the meeting, and um, she started talking, and I lost completely what she was saying. And she, <laughs> she said because she was talking so fast, and, and anytime she gets tired, she talks really fast or stressed. And, and, or stressed. And so, I mean, it was like 90 miles an hour, and I have no idea. I still can't tell you what she said. So um, anyway, it, it's, a, it's a good indication of how hard they've been working, um, and we, we appreciate well <laughs> That's we right. And we appreciate that. Uh, one other thank you uh, that's sort of a perspective thank you is to Mr. Jones. I am always eternally grateful that you are here to lead us through this pro process uh, and uh, am happy that you are doing it again and thank you for everything that you do to keep us uh, on the straight and narrow on this. So with that, we will uh, be adjourned and see everybody in a couple weeks or three weeks. Mm -hmm.